Television and Radio, 1985. It's a lively, colourful book, full of features, background stories, pictures, and facts about independent television and radio, about the future, and much, much more. It's all in Television and Radio, 1985. Price, £3.90. Two programs tomorrow night on ITV at 8.35. There's comedy with Cannon and Ball. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Bobby, you did that very well. Thank you, Tommy. Later at 9.20, Charles Bronson is out to avenge the murder of his wife in Death Wish. Hear me the morning. Death Wish for the first time on British television tomorrow night at 20 past 9 with comedians Cannon and Ball earlier at 8.35 on ITV. The next programme here on Thames Television and the rest of the ITV network will be the latest news with Leonard Parkin. And until we can join him at ITN Studios in London, we'll leave you with some music.
This is Thames Television, with the time approaching one o'clock. This is the News at One from ITN with Leonard Parkin. Hello, good afternoon. Civilian rescue teams searching for two missing soldier climbers in the Cairngorms in Scotland have now been called off and the search is being spearheaded by the SAS, but hopes of finding the men alive are fading. Weather conditions are still atrocious and there's more snow to come. More budget advice for the Chancellor. The CBI tell him today, forget about cutting income tax, do something for industry. Other stories today, doctors are told they're prescribing too many pills for old people and their cures can cause more illness. Inflation in Israel, a country where the price of a flat last year just about buys you a suit today. And the princess's verdict on her new portrait. She likes it. Heavy snow is still sweeping across much of Scotland and the north and the weathermen say there's much more to come. In Scotland, more helicopters have been called in to help with drops of food and fodder to isolated farms and villages. The SAS have been called in to spearhead the search for the two soldiers missing in the blizzards in the Cairngorms since Friday. There's little hope that they're still alive. The soldiers set out on a two-day survival exercise just before fierce snowstorms swept the mountains. Ken Rees reports on the search. Sergeants Paul Rogers and Bill Scott have now been missing in these mountains for four days, and despite an intensive search using over 100 men and dogs, no trace of them has been found. Today, in a last desperate attempt to find them, their service colleagues are taking part in one last search. RAF teams from Kinloss and Lucas, plus army climbing instructors. They're joined by helicopters from RAF Lossiemouth. It had been hoped that the two soldiers, both tough and highly experienced in the mountains, might have taken shelter in a snow hole during the weekend blizzards. But when they did not appear during yesterday's better weather, hopes faded, and the Glenmore civilian rescue team reluctantly decided that they had to call off the search. The difficulty for us is that we have other operations which may be next weekend and uh, over the whole winter, and we have to pace ourselves to an extent. And... Uh, as soon as it becomes quite clear that one's looking for dead bodies rather than for live survivors, then we really have to withdraw. While there's light remaining, the service teams will continue to search on their own. But by tonight, they too will almost certainly decide that there's no hope left of finding the two missing soldiers. Ken Rees, News at One, in the Cairngorms. The M8 south of Glasgow and all other major roads in the area are passable with care. But the police say motorists are still travelling too fast, and while there's been a slight improvement in the weather, that can change within minutes. On higher ground, concern is now mounting for livestock. So far, farmers have been coping, but the National Farmers Union say losses will be inevitable if the bad weather persists. In the Lanarkshire Hills, meanwhile, this is likely to remain the picture for many days to come, and the automobile organisations have warned all motorists to be prepared for the worst. Vehicles will inevitably break down in these conditions, they say, so warm clothing, food and a full tank of petrol are a must. Michael Macmillan, News at One, in southern Scotland. The nine survivors from the cargo ship Radiant Med, which sank near Guernsey, are being interviewed about the rescue operation. Fourteen men died and two are missing, and there's been criticism that a French frigate nearby was too late in calling for help. The fisheries protection vessel, HMS Orkney, now in Plymouth, coordinated the rescue in hurricane-force winds and 40-foot waves. The storm was so severe that two lifeboats were wrecked and their mountings torn off. The captain said conditions were the worst he's ever known. The employers organization, the CBI, has called on the Chancellor, Mr Lawson, to ignore calls for income tax cuts in his March 13th budget and concentrate on measures to help industry. In its budget submission published this morning, the CBI says consumers have done pretty well in recent years, but companies are much worse off. Its proposals to help business would cost the Treasury some £1,800 million this year.